C++ and CGI. Consider the following C++ program. So, this is the respective program we are having. So, here it is the main function and here whatever we have written, there is nothing but only the C out statements we have written and here we have written this content type text slash HTML slash R slash N slash R slash N HTML slash N head slash N actually we are writing one respective HTML file with the help of uh, with this C out statements. I think it is better not to discuss this particular program right now here. So, let me show you that how this programs can get executed and what are the initiatives you are supposed to take for your better understanding. So, here is a demonstration for you at first. This is the first CGA program we have written here. It is having only the C out statements and this is the respective content and the body of this code. So, at first we shall do the compilation of this code at first. So, compile. So, here the name of my program is prog89.cpp. So, after compilation, if I go to my workspace, I shall be finding prog89.exe has got formed. And here you see the there is no error, no warning and the code has been compiled successfully. So, now I am going for the respective workspace. So, this is the workspace where my program prog89.exe has been compiled. Now, before going for the CGI code, CGI program execution, at first we shall have to download the Apache HTTP uh, GIF file from the internet. So, such GIF file will get downloaded. And if we, if we extract this GIF file, then this Apache 24, this folder will get created along with all these files and the subfolders. So, at first I shall have to initiate the server. To initiate the server, I shall have to go to the bin folder and then I shall have to click on httpd.exe. If you click here, then one window will come and that will disappear and the server is now in the memory. So, now to test whether the server is there working fine or not, then I shall have to come to my browser and here I shall type 127.0.0.1. So, if I type here and if I find that it works, it is coming. So, that means my program is working successfully fine. Okay. Next, I shall have to copy this respective file. I shall have to copy it and then I shall go to the CGI bin folder under this Apache 24. I shall come down here and I shall make a paste. I shall make a paste of this file. So, this prog89.exe has got copied here. I shall have to go for a rename. I shall have to make this one as prog89.cgi. So, prog89.cgi has been renamed. Now, I shall have to come to my browser once again. And here, I shall write. Hello world, this is my first CGA program. This code is now getting executed. And if you go for this uh, coding, if you go for this coding, you can find that that very code was written here in my code. So, this is the respective title. You can find this title here. So, hello world, first CGA program. So, this is the respective title. And this is the H2 under the H2 tag. We have written this hello world. This is my first CGA program. So, that has got printed accordingly. So, in this way, we have shown you that how to execute our first CGI program on our browser using C++. Thanks for watching this video. So, in the sample code, the line content type colon text slash html slash r slash n slash r slash n is a part of HTTP header which is sent to the browser to understand the content, all the HTTP header will be in the following form. That means HTTP field name, that is a field content. For example, content type colon text slash HTML and we had that slash r slash n slash r and slash n. There are few other important HTTP headers which you will use frequently 
in your CGI program. So here is list of them. So at first we are discussing content type. A MIME string defining the format of the file being returned. We know that MIME means there is a multipurpose internet mail extensions. Example is content type text slash HTML. That means this content can be of the type text or of the type of HTML. Next one is expire then colon date. So expires colon date. The date the information becomes invalid. It should be used by the browser to decide when a page needs to be refreshed. A valid date string should be in the format like this as shown here. Next one is our location URL. So it will be written as location colon URL. The URL that should be returned instead of the URL requested. You can use this field to redirect a request to any other file. Last hyphen modified colon date, the date of the last modification of the resource. Content hyphen length colon n, the length in bytes of the data being returned. The browser uses this value to report the estimated download time for a file. So there are so many different types of headers are there. Set hyphen cookie colon string, set the cookie passed through the string. So in this way, we are having different headers are there and we have written the respective meaning and the descriptions. So in this way, in this respective video, we have shown you that how to write the CGI script and how to execute it with our C++ environment on a browser. Thanks for watching this video.